I'm so nervous. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> You got it, you got it, you got it, you can do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Too much excitement. Okay, sorry. Okay, police driver training is one of the favourites because they're out of the classroom, they're in a car, they're driving around. The silver response course is probably the most critical course that a police officer will do because it's the urgent duty pursuit driving. So that's where we train people to be able to pursue at speed and the pressures and the hazards that they've got in the GCA. It's been really fun. We had a few um, hot laps around the track. I think I'll be car sick later on, but it was good fun. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. I think yes. Well done. Did you touch it? So when you're ready, 40 k's down the wet line, the command is break. So down the wet line. Oh, there goes my bad steering. Let's go, hey, get your feet up, 40, yeah. 45 k's. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up, that's it, that's it. And keep going, keep going until I say break. Break. Break, just break, 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 hard, 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 Good work, eh? So you would have felt the brake pedal pulsate back at you, the grinding noise is the ABS bringing the vehicle to a stop. It's just hard, like every instinct when you've been driving, you know, your parents screaming at you in the car when you've done something wrong comes into your mind when you start the skid, so you want to correct it straight away. But obviously, you guys in the booth are telling you not to and telling you what to do. All right, BMB, 40 k's down the wet line, the command is brake and steer. Brake and steer. You get a bit more comfortable it's a bit of fun no one likes feeling the car lose control underneath you so that's that's always tricky they told us like two weeks before we came that we'd have to like start practicing full push steering in the car so on the way to Goulburn I've got like maybe two three right left hand corners <laughs> that was my bit of practice before I came here Well, but then she's hit it too hard. She came down to go into that dog leg. She'd had it on too long, so she hit it. Yeah. Oh, she got it. Now lock, 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 lock. Now lock it. Oh. I think I knew it was going to be challenging. I think everyone's just a little bit nervous, like coming out. So everyone's pretty excited, but I think we'll get through it. I think. I don't have to. Um, just even though you went down the wrong alley, that's okay. Real. No, you did well. My legs were actually shaking, to be honest, and then I remembered that I drive every day and I shouldn't be that nervous. But no, it was good. I feel relieved now. Where's your knees at? Hard not to look in the reverse camera, eh? Yeah, <laughs> I looked a couple of times, but that's good. Okay. If we make it to the last day, that's going to be tough. <laughs> so we've got to go like 140 and expect to keep that speed around the corner. Day three is where they get up to 140 kilometres per hour, where we practice our pursuit scenarios and ultimately they're assessed in a um, controlled environment with a scenario. Stopping at the stop sign. Zero traffic, zero pedestrian traffic. Alrighty, so to do an uncontrolled rear wheel skip. 
So when you're ready, A, 20 k's along the wet line, that can be decelerate. I can go. assure you, yeah. I'm not ready. Go, 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 you can do it, you can do it. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Accelerate. Accelerate. Foot floor. Foot floor. floor. Yeah. Woo! Very good. Uh, adding over to it, B, B, oh, make your oh. way down along the wet line. Oh. <laughs> How much fun was that? <laughs> that is